Hi guys, it's Adam here, um, part-time eBay reseller, and today I'm coming at you with a sales update video. Um, this week and last week my sales have been mixed. Um, I saw a good week, sort of very early on last week, and then it gradually got better this week, except for yesterday where I didn't have one sale, um, which was really odd. Uh, and then today I... Um, I'm just hoping that I'll get a couple, uh, but it's Friday now, so hopefully things will be looking up for the weekend. So I'll just take you through pretty much all of my sales. A few of them um, I've left out just because they're just mundane, boring things, um, but most of them are in here. A few of them are the same item that I've sold, so I'm just going to whiz through those ones. So this was a nice sale, the 19th. Um, of October and this is when uh, this was the end of the last the start of the last week I think this was um, when I was just saying a minute ago this was my uh, good start to the week if you like so I sold this for £20, uh, £26.50 I accepted an offer of it on it um, it just managed to go as a small parcel for the weight um, it was like one kilogram, nine hundred grams, and, and I don't know one one kilogram, nine hundred and eighty four grams. I mean, it was it was on the nail. If it was two kilograms, over two kilograms, it would have gone thirteen pounds and seventy five pence with Royal Mail. So there was no way I was doing that. Um, but yeah, it went for two eighty postage. Um, it cost me two pounds, so there's four pound eighty cost. Few eBay, eBay fees and stuff left me with a profit. I think it was about eighteen or nineteen pounds. I've I've not checked my spreadsheet, but I think it was around that. So that was a nice sale. And then almost straight after, um, I sold this hot wires for twenty seven pounds ninety five. I accepted an offer again, um, and this one went uh, Royal Mail. Small parcel, two pound eighty, and it cost me two pound fifty. So again, there's probably nineteen pounds, something like that, and it maybe twenty quid in that one, um, something like that. Anyway, so probably twenty quid in both of them. So that was a nice day for me, forty quid net profit. Uh, I don't know if I sold anything else that day. No, I didn't. So these are just a continual listing. I have they cost me pretty much nothing. Um, when I get my Monopoly, I get them for like 50p to a pound. I just break it all up, sell the money, sell the pewter pieces, sell the houses, etc. Um, and so basically, when divided all up, these cost me nothing. So um, I got 3 99 for them, 74 pence postage, um, and well, nothing cost virtually. Uh, bit of fees, so probably got a couple of quid left in them. This is the money, so I got a bit more for that one. Again, pretty much next to nothing cost. Um, I always, I don't sell it unless it's in sort of that good condition. Otherwise, you, you're just going to get sort of bad feedback and stuff. Um, again, these, but I put the, put the price up a little bit. This was a nice sale. Um, I got this from a car boot. For two pounds, you might have seen it in a haul video. Um, and this is the battleship command with this sealed stuff. Um, I didn't manage to test it, so I, I sell, sold it as untested. But um, I still got like I think it was sixteen quid. I accepted an offer of, um, and I thought I was pretty good for untested because most of the tested ones were going for like twenty three, twenty four. So it was pretty good, really. Um, again, that was second class, two pound eighty. At least, it, yeah, it was two pound eighty. Um, so probably about twelve, ten, twelve quid on that. Twister, nice standard pickup. Paid a pound on that. Got eight forty nine. Well, actually, yeah, I got eight forty nine. I don't know why, but it sometimes says I've accepted a best offer when I actually haven't. Uh, these are Trivial Pursuit pieces, I have this continual listing going, so that's just 
£2.29. I virtually make nothing on that, but it's just sort of extra profit to, to when I sell the cards. Again, another one of them. Uh, this was from my Christmas stock. If you saw a video, I think it was my last video actually, um, I was sorting through my new and sealed stuff and I was putting it all on, so this sold within like, uh, I don't know, 18 hours or something. Um, and yeah, this was the new and sealed boggle. And I, as I said on the video, I didn't think I could get more than 10 quid for it. But I actually put it on for 12 99 and I got that straight away, so I may have even undersold it. This was alright, um, Battleship, um, because I've never actually seen this one before. Um, so I was quite intrigued to see to see this uh, this sort of style and see what it was going for. But it wasn't really going for much, I accepted an offer of £9.49 on that, so a quid, quid less. Um, I paid £2 for it, I, I believe. I'm going to have to check that. Um, so probably a fiver in it, maybe. This wasn't a new and sealed boggle. This has been on there for ages. It was getting close to sort of dead stock. Um, 8 99 and I paid a pound. I'm pretty sure I paid a pound. So again, four, four quid on that, something like that. Four or five quid. These are the pewter pieces for the Monopoly, um, and one of those is sold, five ninety nine. So I, I think it's better to part out a Monopoly than anything because you seem to get a lot more for each of the individual pieces. But anyway, that's what just what I do. This was a little piglet mug, uh, nice little mug. This is uh, no cracks or anything as I could see. I've got two of those on, um, and. I paid 50p for both of those, so a nice profit in that, probably about 5 to 6 quid in that. Buckaroo, I've had loads of these on um, for probably a month or maybe second time around, so maybe two months. Um, and recently, within about, must have been two or three days, about three or four of them have sold. Or maybe, maybe two of them, I don't know, but quite a lot that seem to have sold. Um, this was the 2011 one, yeah, 2011 one, um, yeah, it's quite good, it's fairly good condition, um, I think it was all complete, I'll just check the listing, yeah, complete, although I don't think it had its instructions, um, but I got £8.49 for that, I usually pick them up for a quid to a quid fifty, so, again, probably four or five quid in that. Again, here's another Buckaroo. I didn't accept an offer on it, so I don't know why it's saying that. Um, this one's 2003 version. Again, paid sort of 50p, a pound, maybe a pound 50. This is Scruples. I've had this a couple of times, and the first time I had it, it just sat there, and I had to put the price down, and the price down, and the price down. And then I put the price up, because it had a couple of watches on, finally. And then it went. Um, and then this isn't the actual one. This, uh, so this is a different one I picked up a couple of weeks ago. And surprisingly, this went within a couple of days, maybe four days, something like that. Whereas the other one took about a month and a half to go, so I was surprised. And that one went for more money as well. This is some more Christmas stuff. Um, as, I see, as you can see there, I put Christmas gift in the listing. Um, these are just seen it, and the new, the new and sealed original seen it don't really command much. I did put it on for ten ninety five, um, but someone accepted. Uh, someone made me an offer of nine ninety five, and I just thought I'd get rid of it. It only cost me fifty pence, so it's still a nice profit amount, probably six quid at least. Again, another one of those. I'm not going to dawdle on those. Monopoly Championship Edition. This was something my grandma picked up for me. Because she's got a list with the sort of stuff I buy. So whenever she goes in charge shops, she picks these up for me. Um, so this was Championship Edition. I didn't actually have this on my list. She just went on gut instinct. Um, yeah, I don't think I accepted an offer. 
I don't think I did. I think I think that was eight pound ninety five. If I accept an offer, it probably would have been about seven pound ninety five. Um, but yeah, paid a pound, so nothing really in that. Um, it's complete and probably about four quid profit in that. And then this is the last sale. Another buckaroo for seven ninety nine this time. I was just glad to sort of clear these buckaroos since I had had them for two months or whatever, and only pretty much one had sold. So I was glad to clear a few of those. Uh, two of them went to the same buyer. Those two, those two there, went to the same buyer. So uh, that was a nice, easy packaging up and. Uh, quite cheap to post as well so I was just glad to get rid of them really anyway guys that'll do it for this video as you can see on my feedback some guy um, gave me my first negative feedback um, I have 196 um, feedback which was all positive from a couple of days ago and everyone was putting lovely comments about how I package my items um, and then some guy comes on and he says the Trivial Pursuit cards they ordered um, I was not made aware they were from 1983 which is a bit odd um, I don't know why you need to know they're from 1983 but I, I now have put in the listing just to cover myself 1983 I don't know why I didn't do that anyway but I don't get why that would anger him so much that we weren't from 1983 and then he said the packet was uh, faded and torn or, or etc and I did put in the listing description um, due to age and wear some of the packets may be slightly um, faded due to age um, so I don't know why he didn't read the description properly and, and knew what he was so what he could be getting but the the packet that I sent out to him as I remember was um, in fairly good condition it was slightly faded I'll give him that but I did put in the description some of the packets may be slightly faded and when I say faded I just mean the, the Trivial Pursuit fancy writing sort of thing was, was slightly discoloured uh, slightly faded in that respect um, but I did put that in the description and if you read the description you should have then purchased it knowing that he, he could full well get something that may be slightly discoloured or faded or whatever, um, or whatever but it got me quite annoyed and for a day or so um, I was a bit down because of it because obviously it affects me and I've, I've now got a defect um, but I'm just going to make sure Every, everything I sell is exactly as the description is, which I normally do anyway. I mean, as you can see from here, I put in this description, good condition. And as you can see, the box is in good condition. There is a slight tear there, but other than that, it is in good condition. If that tear wasn't there, I'd obviously put um, very good condition. But the tear's there, so... I would put good condition but as you can see I state exactly what it is Buckaroo by Hasbro 2003 edition 99.9% .9 complete free UK postage good condition so it did get me down a little bit because I put effort into um, how I picture an item as you can see how I um, you know list it and, and title it and everything uh, but Hey ho! If he if he um, didn't like the item, then well, that's my fault at the end of the day, uh, and I'll just have to take it on the chin. But I'm going to make sure that all my products now are completely up to standard, and I won't I won't sell a Trivial Pursuit even if it is very slightly faded or whatever. I've actually amended the listing um, and taken off the ones I think won't be suitable. Um, so they're just going in the car boot pile and I'll get my money back on them anyway because I only pay about 25p but yeah it did get me down a little bit and obviously because I've got so low feedback I've only got 196 at the moment anyway one bad feedback takes it down by you know 0.5% when people see that 99.5 they then sort of click on your 
your um, feedback score and then they look at that one one negative feedback and then it sort of it clouds their view of, of your sort of seller performance just because of that one person so it was a little bit annoying but anyway I'll leave it there because I don't want to get into a massive rant about it but that's what um, eBay resellers have we have to deal with these things so I mean, I'm just I'm dealing with it, and I'm, I'm making sure that all my listings are up to standard now, because that's what you've got to do in these situations. You've got to adapt, and you've got to learn. So anyway, I will see you in my next video. Um, thanks for watching this one. I know it's been a bit long, but um, sorry about that. I've been ranting. Uh, I will be doing just to let you know a room tour as my next video, because I've actually got my new phone, so I'm setting that up. In, I'm in the process of setting that up. Um, and I will do a little room tour with my new phone. Uh, since my, I, I didn't do a room tour before because my old phone is a black brain. It is really, really bad. And I've just not got around to getting a, a new one. So, uh, now I've got my new one. I'll do a room tour and I'll let you see what's going on in my room. Um, at the moment. And it is quite unorganized, but you can have a look at that. So I'll see you all in my next video and thank you for watching and if you haven't already uh, click the subscribe button and give it a thumbs up if you liked it. See you soon.